Uh, my name is Joe McNamara. I'm Plant Health Inspector for Import Controls in Dublin Port. And I'm just going to briefly go through the background to some of the Plant Health SPS requirements. So if we can go on to the next slide there, Tom. So uh, basically, we've, we've had a few webinars covering uh, the detailed requirements for Plant Health uh, SPS declarations. These are available on gov.ie forward slash agriculture, and they're also available on YouTube. And these will uh, detail and outline how to make an SPS declaration, what support and documentation you need, and also a step-by-step -step guide of how to create a shed PP. So by and large, the trade has adjusted very well and we're seeing less levels of non-conformity in uh, declarations presented to us. But we do see uh, maybe higher levels in some commodity types. So we'd just like to take the opportunity to um, to highlight the fact that second-hand machinery that's been operated for horticultural, agricultural and forestry purposes requires a full SPS declaration as it's a regulated plant product and it requires staff and registration. Uh, also, we see some issues for uh, commodities that are subject to increased controls for pesticide residues. These will be foods of non-animal origin. So you will need to create a shed D for these commodities and in some instances, it might be a commodity that requires dual controls if it's uh, a fresh fruit and veg. So it'll need a shed PP created as well as a shed D. Uh, you will also need to be registered with DAFM for making these declarations and submit the, the shed, both sheds through the DAFM portal. And um, so we would encourage people to maybe research what commodities are covered um, on, under the regulation 2021-608. You can see on uh, our website there where there's further information available. Uh, some commodities covered uh, in that regulation will require extra support and documentation such as a health cert and a lab report. And without these support and documentations, uh, your consignment could be refused entry. So sesame seeds from India will be a good example uh, of this. And finally, uh, yeah, seasonal products, uh, we, we notice a lot of teething problems sometimes when operators who only deal in seasonal products um, uh, maybe encounter regulations for the first time. So perhaps earlier on in the year with um, in, in early summer with a lot of horticultural products, uh, plants for planting being imported and uh, all these regulations were new to the operators involved. So maybe just like to take the opportunity to highlight that maybe people dealing in Christmas Christmas trees and cut foliage, uh, the imports of these commodities will all require a full SPS declaration and a valid phytosanitary cert. And so if we go on to the, the final page there, Tom, uh, just if anybody does have queries going forward on requirements, uh, information is available through those channels, agriculture.gov.ie uh, and our Brexit call email and uh, our phone helpline as well. All right. Thank you, Tom.